I'm walking today to Tibbin Villa into the Camel's Hump. Haven't done this one before. And it's reasonably difficult. And uh, further the last time I was in this part of Timbimbilla, I went to the Timbimbilla mountain. I'll try and stay more on track than I did that time. So I think the track is mainly on fire trail like this and with a bit of a scramble at the end. Pretty cold this morning, maybe two degrees or so. But I can see the sun popping there through the trees. It's been a pretty steady climb already in the early part of the walk. Seems to be flattening out a little bit now. Quite a nice little flattened area here. I'm taking the beanie off so must be getting slightly warmer. Um, it's been a pretty steady uphill run. Just flattened out a little bit now, so it's kind of nice. Looks like we've got the destination in sight and <laughs> it looks a fair way away. Let's see how we go. Okay, there's that sun coming up. It's looking good. It was extremely windy yesterday, so it's nice and still today. So it's really nice walking weather. I'm gonna have to get the jacket off soon. Alright, we're going to be a downhill run now. Should make a bit more of a climb to reach the top. You can get a bit of a look at the areas down lower from here. Farms and stuff outside of Canberra. It's a long range view to Black Mountain there in the distance. It's always interesting seeing the tower from long distances away. Got the dishes down in the deep space center down below. Pretty good view from here. It's been a pretty steady run for a little while. I have a feeling we're gonna get back into some uphill action. Feels like it's been reasonably flat the last little bit, but just looking back behind, it's a fair way downhill, so it's been steadily climbing up, which is a good thing because we've got plenty of meters to, to reach. All right, that's the first hour of walking I'm done. I think this will take somewhere between three and four hours total, so I'm making my way well. It's good to have this signage to tell you're headed in the right direction. So blue arrow is on for the camel, camel's hump. I'll see how I'm going for time. Potentially put in Add in John's Peak on this walk as well. <clears throat> All right, here's the camel in front of us. It's been a fair climb. Um, most of the real climbing was in the the first part of it, just straight away. Uh, pretty quiet. I've just come across one person, but uh, very nice and peaceful up here today.
All right, it says there's only 300 meters to go, but I imagine that'll be the hardest 300 meters of the walk. All right, it's very different views on either side. You're seeing back to the city in there, the farms, back down the way we came. You'll see it better from up the top, but this is much more rocky cliffs. Get this 300 meters done. We're off the fire trail now, but still pretty well marked trek. Not at the top yet, but this is some view. view really changed just from taking a few steps upwards and I reckon John's peak should be doable pretty sure it's just that little bump there so it's a bit of a scramble coming up here there's still a track though so it's quite clear where to go excellent views quite good Still not quite the top, but I don't think there's as good a view from the very top, which is just above. It's the way up. That's the way back to where we've been. I'm not sure about the 300 meter figure. Alright, here we have a pile of rocks letting us know we've reached the top, the end of the marked trail. So there's a lot of other walks you can do off the trails. The last time I tried that it didn't go that well. Alright, about an hour and a half to get up here. Uh, big views, really good. Yeah, not so much from the top here, but from this little step down. Um, yeah, huge outlook. Alright, sorry to have doubted the veracity of the tipping builder information sign seems it was actually slightly less than 300 meters a few of those false summits had me tricked great views though start heading back down considering the other peak the john's peak since i'm in the area probably won't get out here for a fairly long time <laughs> 